Now, just before we leave this subject, I want to show you another method, a very simple method of acerdating top dead center. Most times, the marks on the flywheel are clearly visible if you take this plate off. That's what that plate's there for. And sometimes the marks, sometimes the marks are available on this window here on the end plate. But it does happen from time to time that that, that plate is not on the bell housing. It's been welded over or it's cast into the bell housing itself. And also the marks on the window on the, and the end plate are just, they're either not clear or they're not there at all. So, little money spider. At one time, Gardner produced a tool, something like this. You could take out an injector, normally number one, pop this in and you could watch the piston coming up and down on this rod here. But one of our technicians here, very uh, accurate guy, uh, just made this out of, out of an old injector. and works quite well. As you'll see, there's graduation marks on it here for the various angles that we use. You can also get a dial gauge and you can put a dial gauge here on top of the bar and you can measure the, dis the displacement really very accurately. But you don't even need a dial gauge because I've made this table here and I've also made a graph of displacement against angle. Remember, if the flywheel is say a quarter of the way round on a turn, that does not mean that the piston is a quarter way from top dead centre. It doesn't work like that. It's a sinusoidal relationship and that's why I constructed the table and the graph. So there you are, that's another method that you can use and uh, I hope that's clear.